Good morning, everyone. <laughs> My name is Gwenelle Candino. Hey, everyone. It's Benabu Takitani. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Danny Putra. Hello. My name is Renz. Hi, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the ARC Staff Challenge. It's Pam Sari here. As we gear up for the upcoming school year, we recognize the value and importance of self-care. So our challenge for this week is to choose one exhibit from the virtual exhibition called Care Package offered by the Smithsonian Asian Pacific American Center. We have to record our thoughts before interacting with the exhibit and after interacting with the exhibit. The one I decided to cover was Photosynth, a sound bath by Low Leaf, Alex Obolos, and Adam Lubin, and it describes it as a visual and oral landscape. I don't know what to expect from a sound bath, but we'll see how it goes. My link is called Not So Distant, and it's a guided meditation. Um, and I'm really excited. Uh, it's early morning here, and I guided meditation because I've done meditations before, but only before I go to bed to help me sleep. So I'm excited to see how it affects my day. So I personally will be listening to the song entitled What Time Is It? On the Clock of the World by Nobuko Miyamoto and Juan Perez. Um, as for what I'm expecting from this song, um, I do know that Nobuko Miyamoto is a performing artist and climate activist, so I suppose I'm just expecting the song to be great, so we'll see what happens. For this challenge, I chose to watch a short movie called After Earth. It's a short film by Jess X. Snow, Kit Yen, and Peter Pa. Um, the short movie is about how four women from Hawaii, Philippines, China, and North America uh, fight to preserve the volcano, oceans, land, and air for future generations. Uh, I haven't watched the movie yet, uh, so I'm just by reading the descriptions, I, I'm curious about what kind of fight they're having, what does it mean by the fight, and then um, I kind of think that this is about some sort of a apocalypse kind of uh, scene in there or in the movie. And um, also curious why they mention all women and where are all the men. The exhibit that I chose is called Kitchen Remedies, an archive of recipes by the People's Kitchen Collective. My first reaction before interacting with the exhibit is that I really love the title care package and kitchen remedies but especially the kitchen part of it because I thought oftentimes care and food go hand in hand. It reminds me of special times in my life where I knew I needed care and other people just decided to pour on me. I can at least think of three examples of when those happened. The first time is when I was a graduate student and I was in the middle of preliminary exam. It was a two week take home exam. And my colleagues decided that they would deliver food to me every other day or so, so that I wouldn't have to worry about cooking. And instead I was able to concentrate on writing. That was pretty amazing and much, much needed. The second example was after I gave birth to my first child, my son, a friend came to the hospital and deliver warm food for me and to this day I remember that was the first food I ate after I gave birth and I still remember the giver to this day. And the third example I think I can name this person it reminds me of Hannah Lee a colleague of mine who was also part of the communities that tried to build the ark. One day uh, during a special holiday she gave me a jar of kumquat jam from her home in California and it was my first time tasting kumquat and it was a really special and so I just realized that when thinking about care package and kitchen or food um, I didn't just think about the the act of care but I today I still remember 
um, who these people are. And I'll be doing an activity called Wakarongo. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm looking forward to the um, experience. So I'll come back in a little bit and share with you my thoughts on how that went. So I just finished doing the guided meditation um, called Not So Distant um, on the Smithsonian Care Package. And I guess my final thoughts are that um, I expect to be grounded, but it was very um, out of this world. They very much talked to me as if I was um, in space and I really enjoyed the pictures that they painted within my mind. Um, it was very calming. Uh, so it takes about 12 minutes and all you need is a comfortable place to sit. Um, and I enjoyed that it talked about um, visiting my ancestors um, and, you know, talking to them. Uh, so it was just very um, relaxing and it made me feel like I was kind of um, going back to my roots, even though it put me in a place that was out of the world that my ancestors were in. And I thought that was very interesting. So uh, I just I just watched the short movie, The After Earth. So my impression was the the song was beautiful, the poetry, um, all the reflections that each person um, try to to do through um, remembering their. Uh, previous generations remembering how they um, culture appreciate the nature I think it's a very um, much reminder of us to preserve the nature I think when they mention the how it becomes a cycle of life when when um, each one of them mentioned that the there are times when the nature the water the earth um, all the plants and the animals um, provide resources for for our lives, for each of their lives, and um, and how they also mention that sometimes even though uh, the nature can takes life, but they also it gives life, and and they also mentions how when the nature there are times when the nature needs us. Um, then we need to give back to the nature and take care of them. I think there, there's a very deep um, message that wanted to be said by all these uh, people in the movie. Um, just again, a very strong reminder for us to reflect on our um, heritage, our culture, and and how we always be. Um, as a human connect with each other and um, connect with the nature around us so we're not forgetting where we're coming from who gave us life and how we should be thankful for that and um, not just taking a lot of things away taking away most of the thing from from our environment from our nature but also to give back so that we can preserve that resources for the next generation, for the future generations. Uh, I think that's are the things that I found uh, from the movie. I think it's, again, it was surprising. Uh, it's a very short movie, but also I think it left a deep impressions on me. Um, it's very spiritual. That's my impressions. I think that's all I can say about uh, this movie. And if you, enjoy the movie you can, you can visit the smithsonian website and the specifically the um smithsonian asian pacific american center there are a lot of um activities that you can do so you can choose from there so i just finished the wakarunga an embodied tour led by jack gray i would describe the experience as starting out relaxing then playful then active and then back to relaxing uh, throughout the guided tour, we were encouraged to take photos as we listened to music and uh, reflected on different experiences. So I would really encourage you to try it out. It was a really neat opportunity and experience to um, go on an imaginative journey through 
different experiences and different worlds that are uh, unique and uh, just different than what I've experienced on a regular basis. So, so here are my final thoughts of Photosynth. Overall, I really loved the music composition. It really captured the wildlife atmosphere in the Philippines and was extremely calm to listen to. I just finished interacting with the Kitchen Remedies exhibit and learned a few things. First, I learned about the People's Kitchen Collective, a collective that works with food-centered projects as part of activism, so art and activism, and also political education. The founders and their mission seem to be very intersectional and educational. The Kitchen Remedies features several examples of family wisdom in relation to remedy of certain sicknesses, such as cold and fever, using ingredients like saffron, honey, or hard-boiled eggs. There were several examples. I wish I could see more of those, but it makes me think that we all grow up with wisdom like this. And I really like how the People's Kitchen Collective put these stories and recipes for remedy as a way to, and I quote, remember health as familial and communal rather than simply medical. And I'm thinking especially in families and communities with limited access to healthcare, kitchen remedies and family stories that are passed uh, from generations to generations exemplify uh, stories of inequality and also of resilience. Um, reading an exhibit like this makes me think of what exists in my own family and two things immediately come to mind. First is porridge. Um, whenever we get sick, I think the first thing that we always do is make porridge. Um, and also um, ginger, uh, ginger root boiled in water with brown sugar and some green onion. So those two immediately came to my mind as an example of how um, my family thinks about uh, kitchen remedies. So I just got done watching the music video for what time is it on the clock of the world. Um, I think I failed to mention in the intro section of my video that there was a music video that accompanies the song and Wow, the imagery in the video is absolutely amazing. Um, it is very powerful. It reminded me that it is my responsibility to be mindful of my actions and how they relate to the environmental crisis. Um, also, uh, prior to listening to this song, I tried not to read any of the info um, on the website. so. I actually didn't know that the song was going to be more of like a folk sound, so that was incredible. The, the entire project, the music, the lyrics, the imagery in the video, it's all amazing. I highly recommend that anyone take the time out of their day to uh, give this a listen. The uh, video is a little under four minutes long, so it won't take. Uh, much time at all. So, yeah, thank you for joining us again for this week's ARC Challenge. So, I hope that you would consider trying it out. And if you do, leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought about it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye. Um, we'll see you again next week. Thank you so much for always enjoying our ARC Staff Challenge. It has been really challenging me to learn about the diversity of Asian and Asian American communities. And for this week, I would like to encourage you to check out the Smithsonian Asian Pacific American Center. They have a lot of wonderful resources uh, for us to enrich our understanding and knowledge about Asian America. Thanks. Bye-bye.